Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and in today's video we will focus on text. So the text we have two different types. We are always here in the CAD CAM environment, uh, main menu, so drawings and uh, here we can see the two different options we have for text. Let's start with the, with the linear one. So we click on it and here, as we can see, the reference for my text is the dot where the cursor is uh, right now. Uh, we can, at this point, uh, remember, specify the coordinate in X and Y for the dot uh, directly from uh, the right panel. Uh, and then here we have uh, all the other options. So, of course, uh, uh, as you can see now, is in Italian testo, but uh, you can change the text from here. Uh, then uh, you can select the font. Remember that uh, all the fonts are taken directly from the Windows library. And if you want to update uh, the library with the new font, uh, usually you update the font through Windows and it should come up uh, in BSolid uh, automatically. Then uh, we have, uh, of course, the height of the text. So you can decide how big it has to be. If it has to be bold or italic, and then the alignment for your text. So uh, keeping in consideration our reference, uh, which is the dot, uh, if the text has to go from left to right, or center, or right to left. Then advanced parameters, what we have in the advanced parameters, we can change the direction of, your, of our text, so we can have it, uh, instead of going left to right, you know, uh, top to bottom, or uh, vice versa, right to left, or bottom to top. And then uh, uh, we can change the spacing between the letters. We can you see, increase it. Then the interline. Interline is basically when you have uh, multiple lines here on your text. So, hello. Uh, let's say today is Saturday. Uh, the interline, what does? Uh, is basically the space between the lines. So, if you increase it or you decrease it, I mean, if you put it at zero, they basically touch each other. And this is uh, what interline does. Then accuracy, of course, is the accuracy to draw basically the, the letters. And honestly, I never uh, changed it. Usually it's fine, 0 0.1 is accurate enough. And uh, you can decide to stretch the text a little bit more. Of course, one goes back to the normal, and if you go in the other direction, so something less than one is gonna squeeze it. Okay, we have seen pretty much everything for the linear text. Let me actually uh, get rid of this one. And let's start to see the test text on path. We have pretty much the same things with just few uh, variations. Uh, the first one is, of course, uh, we need uh, uh, the path. So as soon as you select the option, text on path is going to ask you to select the path. 
so I draw already um, an arc so I'm gonna select that and uh, let's use a low uh, as our text and then as you can see uh, the options are pretty much uh, the same so you can select the font uh, the dimension you can have it bold italic and now the difference is uh, uh, the alignment because before our text was referenced uh, based on the dot now our reference is uh, our path so if you go left to right this is what you will see if you want it centered it's gonna center it based on our path so in the center of our arc right to left here it is then we have uh, stretched so it's gonna stretch the the letters covering the whole path or uh, justified is basically is gonna spread out the distance between the letters in order to cover the whole path this one is to uh, bring everything back so like it was originally then uh, advanced parameters also here uh, we don't have any more uh, left right and so on we only have direction which is uh, basically uh, above or below our path and the rest is still the same so the spacing you can change you know the spacing manually uh, the interline if you have uh, you know multiple lines uh, the accuracy and the stretch uh, is uh, uh, exactly the same thing as we we have seen before okay one more thing to say is uh, that uh, once uh, you confirmed, uh, you have confirmed your text on path, uh, let's say you need to change the path for some reason, double click on it. And as you can see, the text will be automatically adapted and follow the new path. So, this is it uh, in regard of the text. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. See you at the next video.